We live in an ever-evolving world where physicists explore the fundamentals of the universe and biologists examine the building blocks of what makes us human. We communicate with each other from around the world wirelessly using an advanced network. The technology that holds all of these inventions together is complex and very powerful. It has been called the language of the universe. That language is mathematics. Mathematics is about making meaning out of out of different phenomena. It's about exploring patterns, it's about understanding patterns and then also trying to predict what would happen. Um, in a nutshell, it's about patterns. We, we use mathematical tools to describe what's happening in the world or you know, in a particular instance or phenomenon. Mathematics exists in patterns all around us. Thousands of years ago, man looked into the sky and discovered patterns we now call constellations. We watched days turn into weeks and weeks into months and called that pattern time. There are symmetrical patterns in nature, be it in the petals of a flower or the face of a tiger. We've managed to use these patterns to build astonishing structures. However, to decipher these patterns, we require critical thinking and imagination. It's just about critical thinking, about thinking logically, looking at all possible options. As you move um, up in your studies or as you go uh, come across more complicated problems, then there's other uh, attributes that you need. For example, you need imagination. Uh, there's no recipe uh, for, or, or algorithm just to solve a problem. You have to think out of the box. And to think out of the box requires imagination. Albert Einstein once said that mathematics explains so well the universe as we see it. We encounter mathematics on a daily basis, from the alarm clocks that wake you up to the toaster that toasts your bread. Everything is underpinned by mathematics. Well, mathematics is important because, uh, for example, uh, if you take your daily life, if you're opening up a tap, you're answering a call from your boyfriend or your girlfriend, all of the things happening in the background, there's mathematics. From that circuit board to the engineer who uh, piped the water to your, to your home uh, requires mathematics. So if you remove mathematics or if you ask why is it important, it's critical to every aspect of our life. The University of KwaZulu-Natal introduces you to the intellectually stimulating and challenging world of mathematics where we aim to develop critical thinkers and problem solvers by building on the mathematics you encountered in high school. Uh, you have maths at first year level, which we call maths one. We have maths at second year level, maths two, and maths at third year level, which is maths three. Uh, at first year level, you're basically looking, uh, looking at an introduction to, to calculus, where you look at differential calculus and integral calculus. So it goes a lot more in depth than what you do at school. At, at, at school, you're just touching on the surface. Uh, there's a large focus on problem solving, right? So you actually learn how to solve problems uh, in, in mathematics. You take an everyday problem, you translate it from uh, English, for example, into mathematical statements, and you learn how to use your tools to solve these problems. My name is Nintlantla Precious Sikusana, and I'm currently a PhD candidate at the University of KwaZulu Natal under the School of Mathematics, Statistics, and Computer Science. So, from a very young age, I've been passionate about two things problem solving and questioning the things around me. And with the mathematics, I'm able to answer both these. Whether it's the measurements of the ingredients when you're cooking or the speed that you need to drive by when overtaking a car, that is mathematics. From my undergraduate till my PhD, I've been a UKZN student. And now most people often ask me, why not change university? Well, that's because UKZN has become a home to me. We are blessed with academic and support staff that ensure that we achieve the best results while they handle the rest. To study mathematics at UKZN, a minimum APS score of 30 points is required with maths, English, life orientation, and either physics, life sciences, or agricultural sciences. Visit our website for more information. If you love maths, maths will love you. You have to put in the time. That, 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 that's, that's the bottom line.